Hey guys, welcome back to Help a Function. In this video, we will discuss another popular question, largest perimeter triangle. So the problem says that we are given with array of possible lengths. We need to return the largest perimeter of a triangle with non-zero area. Now this non-zero area means that basically the triangle should be formed with those three lengths that we will pick. So for example, let's say we have an array with lengths as 3, 2, 3, 4. So these elements represents the lengths of the triangle and we need to pick any three of them such that the perimeter of the triangle is maximum and also the triangle should be formed that is its area should be non-zero. So here we can pick 3, 3 and 4 making the total perimeter as 10. So this is the maximum perimeter which we can get thus we will return 10 here. Now, what do we mean by non-zero area? Non-zero area means that there must be a triangle formed first, then we need to calculate the perimeter. So let's say we have this triangle with sides A, B and C. So the minimum requirement for this triangle to have a non-zero area is that sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side. Thus, A plus B should be greater than C and B plus C should be greater than A and also A plus C should be greater than B. So if all of these three conditions are satisfied, this means that we have a triangle which has a non-zero area. Thus now we can calculate the perimeter and update our answer. So let's see how we are going to solve it. Let's say we have the array with the elements as 3, 2, 3, 4. So for brute force, what we can do is we can have three for loops. Let's say i, j and k, j starting from i plus 1 and k starting from j plus 1. And now we have our three sides as a of i, a of j and a of k. Now first we will check the condition of the triangle is satisfied or not. That is if sum of any two sides is greater than the third one or not. And if this is satisfied, then we will update our answer. Let's say answer is equals to max of answer or the perimeter formed by these three sides. But this approach requires order of n cube time complexity as we are using three for loops. Now another thing that we can do is we can short this array. Let's say we short this array. And thus the new array we get is this. Now we will be comparing the largest three sides. That is, we will be going from this side and every time we will be comparing three largest elements. If this satisfies the condition of a triangle, then this will be my maximum perimeter triangle and I will return the perimeter of this. Otherwise, I will shift one side and then I will compare these three elements. Now why we are doing this, let's try and understand by another example. Let's say we have an array with elements as 5, 4, 2, 3 and 10. So at first we shot this array. So the new elements we get is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10. Now we will check for the last three elements that is the largest three elements. So we pick these three elements and we will check that whether these three satisfy the condition for a non-zero triangle or not. But we see that they don't satisfy as 4 plus 5 is lesser than 10. Thus, now it can be noticed that if these three sides doesn't satisfy, then if I combine 10 with any other sides, they will also not satisfy because these will definitely be lesser than 4 and 5 and if 4 and 5 does not satisfy, then obviously these will also not satisfy. So what we do is we just shift to one more side that is now we will check for 3, 4 and 5 and here we can see that these 3 satisfies the condition that is 3 plus 4 is greater than 5, 4 plus 5 is greater than 3 and 5 plus 3 is greater than 4. Thus these 3 sides make a triangle and this triangle will have the largest perimeter that we can get among all these array elements. Why I'm saying this because we are going from the right hand side that is we are going from the largest elements. 
so if we go by this side the perimeter will decrease and because we have found a triangle here this will be my largest perimeter triangle and I will return 12 as the perimeter. Now the time complexity for this approach is order of n log n because we are using a short and shorting requires n log n time. So this is how we can solve this problem in order of n log n complexity and the space complexity is order of 1 because we are not using any extra space. Now let's quickly look at the code. We are given with a vector a representing the lengths of the sides of the triangle. First we short this vector and now we are starting from the last element and going till third element that is let's say we have this array 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10. Thus we are starting from this index and we are going till this index because we are taking this two numbers as our comparison so the loop will run from this to this. This if condition checks whether the triangle is formed or not. Let's say the sides are 4, 5 and 10. Then this checks that whether these two that is the sum of these two is greater than 10 or not. Now if this condition is satisfied then the sum of this will always be greater than 4 and sum of this will always be greater than 5. Thus we need to only check for this condition. If it is satisfied then we have got our triangle and we will return its perimeter that is sum of all the three sides as our answer. Otherwise we will come out of this loop let's say for example with case this. For this example the if condition will not be satisfied and we will come out of this loop and will return 0 as our answer. So this was all about the problem. I put the problem link in the description so you can go and solve it. If any doubts or suggestion please write in the comment and if not subscribed to the channel yet then please do that. Thank you so much for watching.